To install the department user software, make sure the vidmic is not connected to the computer and then insert the department installation disk. The EHS vidmic department user setup box will come up. Click on Install Video Decoder and click Next. Check Accept and click Next. See page 4 of your operating manual for more information about the General Public Licensing Agreement. Click Next. Browse to where you want to install XVID and click Next. Then click Next. Click Next. Then click Install. Click Finish. Back in the EHS Departmental User Setup box, Click on Install EHS Driver and Tool. Select Language and click OK. Click Next. Select Folder and click Next. Check Desktop icon if you want one, or leave it blank if not. Click Next. Click on Install. Click on Finish. Password box should be up. If you are not ready to download files, click Out of Program by clicking Out of Box. When you are ready to download files, connect the vidmic to the computer and turn vidmic on. Now bring up departmental user box. I keep mine in all programs. Check LCD screen to make sure connection icon shows connection is made. Now enter the password and hit enter. To create your own secure departmental password, enter generic password and hit change password. Enter old password, new password, and confirm new password and hit enter. If a screen titled Welcome to Found New Hardware Wizard comes up, call EHS IT at 888-484-3642. When you are ready to download files, type in password and hit enter. Go to Open Folder to view files. Click on DCIM. Click on 100 images. Now, use whatever file placement method you prefer. Move, copy, drag, drop, whatever. But you must move or copy files before you turn off or disconnect the vidmic to save them to your computer. Remember, moving, as well as the delete command, permanently removes files from the vidmic. After three minutes of non-use, the LCD screen goes dark to conserve energy. But the vidmic is still on. In sleep mode, the vidmic's communication capabilities are still fully functional. Remember, however, that the vidmic must be awake to connect your computer using the password. Please read page 5 of your departmental user manual for important notes on sleep mode. To install the EHS individual user software, make sure the vidmic is not connected to the computer. Then insert the individual user disk. The EHS vidmic individual user setup box should come up. Click on Install EHS Driver and Tool. Select Language and click OK. Click Next. Select Folder and click Next. Check Desktop icon if you want one, or leave it blank if not. Click Next. Click on Install. Click on Finish. Password box should be up. Connect the vidmic to the computer and turn the vidmic on. Check LCD screen to make sure connection icon shows connection is made. Type in password, click on connect. Now you can select photo or video depending on what type of file you want to review. You can view files on the vidmic's LCD screen. The previous and next buttons allow you to move forward and backward through your images or video clips. Please note, the individual user software does not allow for the transfer of files from the vidmic to the computer. It only allows officers to review their files on the vidmic's LCD screen. And one last thing. The departmental user software and the individual user software can't be installed on the same computer at the same time. The programs write over each other. Now, before we wrap up, let's review three important points everyone seems to forget. Practice. Do not have your vidmic connected to your computer while installing software do have the vidmic connected, turned on, and awake when you are entering passwords. There you have it. Like I said, not a terribly complicated piece of equipment, but you'll get a lot better result if you study it and practice with it before you go out and use it.